Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Mumble Elite here and you're probably wondering what is this? So basically, if you don't know already, uh, I'm home for break, spring break. I really don't have any recording gear. I did a 24 hour live stream at my friend's Drew's house, 2 Indie Gaming. That went very well. Thank you guys for all the support during that series. Overall, we raised over $100 for the vets. I can't thank you guys enough. Uh, but this video is gonna be a little bit different since I'm not able to live stream at home. I really don't have the stuff to do it. Uh, and our Wi-Fi is pretty trash right now. I thought, hey, instead of not doing anything for the channel, let's do something that people might enjoy. You know, I got a wide audience, people from different situations, uh, but at the core of it all, I feel like we all have the same kind of basics, basic things that connect us together. So there's gonna be no cuts on this video. Uh, this is just gonna be me talking to you guys. No cuts, no edits, things like that, music. It's just gonna be straight up what you get from this, I'm gonna upload to my phone. So without further ado, I just thought it'd be a good idea to talk about some topics. And I think I'm gonna spread it out into different episodes, maybe have a couple throughout this week. Uh, if you guys like this, maybe I can do something like this in the future. I know most of you are wondering like where the Motivational Mondays went, what happened to them. Basically what I did was I didn't have enough like topics I felt to dedicate to specific episodes, you know? So I just try to be happy, try to give a message at least in either any one of my streams or videos. So for this one, I'm just gonna do a whole episode dedicated to taking chances. So now the thing with taking chances, I'm just gonna get right into talking about it right now. So for the people waiting for me to start talking, you can, you can start listening now. Uh, with taking chances uh, comes great risk. I'm one of those people that has been affected by change throughout my life, uh, whether that's with relationships, sports, family, school, all of it changes. No matter what you do, it's gonna change. It's just the way the world works. And you either have two choices. You can either sit there in the spot you're in right now and try to accept it, or you can go out, take a chance, and look for change. Now, I'm not gonna lie. When you take a chance, it's terrifying. It can go really bad or really good. In my case, some of the choices I've made, some of the chances I've took, they've gone really bad. And it sucks, you know? Uh, about two years ago, I was playing the sport I love, soccer, and I found out that I was getting way too many concussions, you know? Uh, I had a club soccer game, I remember. It was almost a year ago to this day because we got prom coming up. Uh, actually, two years ago, I mean. Two years ago to this day. I was playing a soccer game, and within the first two minutes of the game, I went up for a header, got hit in the back of my head, fell down, hit my head on the ground again, blacked out. Uh, then my teammates like kind of came around me, and the coach came out. Uh, they got the trainer and everyone out, got me onto a cart, and basically brought me to the car and said, listen, you need to be in the shade. If you have lots of concussions, you just need to rest. And I was kind of sitting in the car, and I was just thinking to myself, oh my gosh, I got prom coming up. Am I gonna be able to come to prom? Because prom was literally a week away and I didn't know if I was gonna be able to go. And my prom date at the time was a girl that I've liked on and off for a while now. Uh, we've kind of had a thing since basically middle school. Middle school, she liked me. Uh, I didn't really like her. Beginning of high school, she liked me. I didn't like her. Then I was starting to kind of catch feelings, but I knew uh, from a very beginning that where we stood was basically only just friends for the longest time. There's chances I could have taken. Like I said, there's chances I could have taken uh, that could go really bad or really good. I just said, you know what? I'm happy with where I'm at right now. I'm not going to take one. So with her, I never really took a chance. Uh, but with soccer, I kept going out there, taking chance after chance after chance. And it finally caught up to me. Uh, that concussion didn't give me the best prom experience. Uh, I was with the girl, like I said, that I liked, and I wasn't me. You know, concussions really do affect a person, and the person I was at prom was like a zombie. <laughs> I still had symptoms. Uh, I was completely just a mess. I was not happy to be around, and it sucked. It's, it really did, because that's like one of those opportunities where you feel like everything in your life can come together, uh, and for me, no, none of it gelled, and this transpired uh, throughout the rest of that year and going into next summer where it really hit me. So starting up my senior year of high school, I 
I had a soccer game on the first day of school. And at this point, officially, I think I had like four or five concussions, but unofficially, a lot more than that. Because like the position I'm in, I play almost every minute of every soccer game I played. I didn't want to get taken off the field. I felt like it was my job as a defender to defend the goalie, defend the goal, uh, defend my other teammates, and I didn't want anyone else in my spot. I don't know if that's a selfish thing to say, uh, but I was very confident in my ability to do what I did, and I loved every minute of it, you know? No one wants to be sitting there on the bench injured watching your teammates play uh, when you're when you know there's nothing you can do about it. So I tried to get into many as many games as I could. I probably came back too early a couple of times and it bit me in the ass finally. Uh, the first game of school year, I, like I said, went up for a header. And in one of those situations, again, I got pushed over, landed straight on my head, got hit in the back of the head. And I blocked out. And I actually woke up. The first thing I remember was being in the hospital bed. And I just... I just remember coming into like grips of reality, my mom, and I just saw her crying her eyes out. And she was like talking to the doctor and they're like, there's a very good chance your son probably won't play soccer again. He shouldn't go back out there. Uh, it's not smart health wise and it's not smart period. So I kind of like woke up and I kind of figured, you know, two minute concussions is not going to be a good thing. And it was coming towards the end of my high school experience anyways, and I kind of knew that college soccer probably wouldn't be the best option for me. It's probably best if I ended it after the season. You know, I probably could have ended it right there, but I'm not a quitter. I don't like to quit, so I just want to keep going through. Uh, so I just kept playing. I'm like, I want to finish out the rest of the school year, so I kept going. And kind of like in terms of taking chances, I know I've been jumping around a little bit. This is kind of my story. Uh, where I stood with that girl was she obviously had some feelings for me and I had some feelings for her, but I never acted on them. You know, I never took that chance. Uh, and <laughs> to be completely honest, that was dumb of me. Uh, so my best friend, one of my best friends had a fire when I had that concussion that week. Uh, and we went to his house, and that girl was there, and I ended up talking to her quite a bit. Uh, we were really connecting, because I haven't talked to her, like, a lot over the past couple weeks at this point, because a lot of stuff has been happening. I've been preparing for soccer, uh, and at the same time, like, our prime experience, I didn't really want that. I don't know how to put it exactly. I really just didn't think anything was going to come from it. I just wanted to put it, like, the back of my mind. Uh, but, like, as you know, uh, your feelings control you. You can't really you can't really do anything about it. At some point, it's going to just rip out of your body. And I remember sitting at that fire, and then one of her friends ended up telling me she's in a relationship. And I was like, what? This girl's not in a relationship. Like, she didn't say anything to me. So I asked her, I'm like, so I hear you got a boyfriend. And, like, instantly her face just got, like, red. And I'm colorblind, and I saw her face get red. So... It must have been pretty bad, but she wouldn't tell me his name, and it really upset me because I'm like, who is this guy? Like, if he obviously means a lot to you, I kind of want to know, uh, and she wouldn't tell me anything. Then she was starting to get, like, mad at me. I'm like, I just want to know his name, and then finally, uh, she said, you know what? I have to leave, so I walked her to her car with my concussion. <laughs> I wasn't able to, like, walk that well, but oh well. I walked to her car. I'm basically... I almost just like yelled at her. I'm like, listen, I don't know why you can't tell me who he is, what his name is, or where he's from. I just want to know. I care about you. Uh, and that's kind of when she told me his name. Uh, and then we kind of just sat at our car for about five, ten minutes, kind of talked about where our lives are heading. You know, uh, she wanted to pursue something outside of state when I knew I was going to be an in-state kind of guy. Kind of close to home, but not necessarily stuck in high school. Like some of my friends are still, I think, stuck in high school. I just like being close to home because that's where I kind of grew up. That's where I'm comfortable with. And I feel like a like 45-minute distance is like perfect for me. So we kind of talked about our futures, and it was very clear that ours wouldn't have been in mind. She was going away. I was going to stay here. So even at that chance right there, I didn't take one. I had the option to take a big chance and I didn't. But at the same time, me not taking one still made a big decision in my life. And I remember sitting there and the sense of knowing that it's over, like 
I had chances throughout my high school experience and I didn't take them. And that really sucked, you know? It was a moment of clarity for me in terms of I fucked up. <laughs> it's something I wanted in the back of my mind, but I didn't tell myself enough that I wanted. And once you, once you kind of, once you kind of, I don't know how to put it. Once you don't take enough chances, it's gone forever. You know, you got to act at some point and I didn't. At that moment when she drove away, I knew I didn't do the right thing. So this was the moment of my life where I was the most lost. Uh, didn't really have soccer, didn't have that relationship. I felt bottom of the bottom, lowest of the low. Uh, it kind of put me into a depression. My grades at school weren't the best because of concussions either. Just felt like every aspect of my life just was shitty at that moment. Uh, in terms of religion, I don't know if you guys are religious or not. Personally, I'm a Christian myself. I don't want to push anything onto you guys. But at this time, I wasn't really religious either. I had a falling off of that too. And everything was just shitty. And I remember going for a walk. I started walking. And I didn't know where I was going. It was dark out. I just kept walking in my friend's neighborhood. I didn't know what to do. And I just kept going and going and going. I think it was like a half an hour I must have been gone. And then all of a sudden, it was just so dark. I couldn't see anything. I just kept walking though because I didn't know where to go. And all of a sudden, I just see this light come out of nowhere. Uh, and it was a car pulling up. And it had my friends inside of it. And they hopped out. Uh, some of them I was close with, but not really all of them I knew all too well. And when my best friend hopped out, when my best friend hopped out of the car, uh, he basically came over to me. He's like, "Hey, Reed, are you okay, bud? We got worried because we saw you uh, walk away and you have a concussion. We didn't know if anything happened to you." I was like, "Oh no, I'm fine. Really, I'm fine." Uh, and then my friend, he kind of just looked at me, and it's like one of those things. Once you know someone well enough, even if they say you're fine, they know something's up. So. Like my other friends went back to the car, but he stood there and he said one more time, he's like, seriously, are you okay? And at that moment, I absolutely lost it. I never broke down that much in my life. I just couldn't even walk anymore. I fell down to the curb uh, and he did too. And then when I didn't know what to do, I was lost. And we just kind of sat there for, I think like 10 minutes. And he's like, it's going to be okay. And he was crying his eyes out too. And it just, it sucked. It really did. Uh, but that was the start of the change of my life. Around that time, um, school was starting back up. I, I, it was like the last of a lot of things. You know, the last time I was going to be on the soccer field, the last time I'd be in the school, the last time I'd be at a football game. Like all these last were happening at the same time, it opened way to like the start of new things. Now, I know this is a longer type of video. Uh, this is kind of my story. So if you guys don't want to hear the rest, obviously, you can click off at any point. But for those of you who really want to know how I started getting into YouTube, uh, this was the time. You know, I was in this depression, which I think I told you guys about before, where it didn't seem like anything was going well in my life. And then Black Ops 3 came out. And that's when I started really, really reconnecting uh, with a lot of people in my school. Uh, really just everything in my life kind of came full circle. Basically, I started just uploading uh, gameplays, montage little clips off my PS4 to YouTube. Uh, I didn't really do it for any reason other than I wanted my friends to see it. Uh, but as those things go normally, uh, someone you don't think would see it sees it. Uh, and they have some sort of reaction to it. So I don't know exactly how it went. Someone found my video at school. I was like, hey, Mumbo. Well, they didn't call me mom, but they called me Reed. They were like, that's cool that you're doing a YouTube channel. Uh, I hope you make a big one day. And I'm like, I hope so too. I hope to get like 100 subs someday. That, like, that was my goal. I was like, if I got to 100 subs, that would be awesome. So all year I kind of grinded out. Uh, I started off not doing too much. I didn't do commentaries or anything. But I'm like, you know what? If I want to take this seriously, if this is something I really do like, I want to be able to branch out and do other things. So I started doing commentaries. Uh, things like that, montages, and I was really enjoying myself. And we had a series that I kind of brought back a little bit uh, called Scrims with my friends. Basically, Black Ops 3 competitive, 
4v4, 3v3, uh, my friends and I just going at it. So that started going, and by the end of the school year, I think I had around, I don't know, 25 subs, something like that. Uh, I would get like one or two likes per video. Uh, Drew, aka WebsterFam, aka the leader to Indie Gaming, uh, he was basically the only one who would like comment on my videos. He'd be like, that's awesome, Reed. Keep up the good work, bud. Uh, and then from off of that, it just kind of drove a passion for YouTube, you know? It was something I really did enjoy, and I knew it could branch me out and, I don't know, give a message to other people. And that's kind of why I wanted to do in this video is kind of show you guys sometimes you got to take chances, you know? Uh, and by the end of that summer, I, I hit 100 subs, I think, about halfway through, but I started live streaming. Uh, that live streaming brought me to college, and then it kind of blew me up a little bit. Uh, during Honda Gaming, then during my Mumbo Elite, uh, it just kind of took off. And the Elite Army has grown so much. Uh, to all of you right now who are watching this video, probably wondering why this is 60 minutes long and how the hell you're still watching this. Uh, but basically what I wanted to get out of this was, in my life, there's a lot of times where I took chances and times where I didn't. And I think it's very important for you guys to know uh, that even... Not taking a chance is a choice of its own. There's consequences that come from it, repercussions. No matter what you do, your life is going to change. So don't be afraid to go out there and take a chance. I know sometimes it's scary. Uh, some of the chances I've taken in my life is scary as hell. Like I didn't want to do it half the time, but I knew in my heart, you know, you got to go for it or you're going to have regrets. So I'm happy to say I am where I am because of these circumstances, I wouldn't want it to go any other way. Uh, I really do miss soccer. I love it to death. Uh, but if I would have kept playing soccer, if I would have did college soccer, chances are I never would have done YouTube. And even if I did, I wouldn't be doing it right now. I probably would have ended it. Probably would have been a little side thing, a little hobby to do with my friends. And it wouldn't have grown from there. So I'm very blessed personally where I am today. I don't know about you guys. Let me know down in the comments or maybe in the DMs if you don't want to put it uh, open to everyone. Maybe some chances that you have taken or some chances you've struggled with. Uh, just let me know about it. Like I said, I'm a Christian. I don't know if you guys are religious or not. But if you want to talk to me about that, uh, if you're ever open, my DMs are always open. If you ever want me to pray for you, anything like that, just let me know. Uh, I really love doing that stuff. I love helping you guys out. So... Any little thing that you guys might be struggling with, whether it's middle school, high school, college, I've probably gone through myself, so it might not be as big as a problem as you're making it out to be. I know uh, when I was in middle school and high school, a lot of the things were just like, oh gosh, this exam coming up, I don't know how I'm going to survive. And it's like, you kidding me? An exam? Now I'm in college, it's like I have five exams per week, and you're telling me that was bad in high school? Come on, bro. <laughs> but besides that, guys... Uh, just go out there, man. Take a chance. Do what you believe in. Uh, but yeah, that's basically all I want to get across in this video. I know it was a little bit longer. Uh, thank you for anyone who kind of tuned in and watched the whole thing. Uh, it's your boy, Mumble Lee. And I'm out. Peace.